Hi, hope you're keeping well. Uh, I'm Robin, I'm one of the directors here at Start Software, and this is a quick introductory video for you uh, to highlight the new features in release 33 of our Asbestos software product, Alpha Tracker. So uh, I'm going to highlight three things in particular. There are actually, uh, I think it's 450 new features, performance improvements, and bug fixes in this release, unbelievably. And um, Kim's uh, release notes will be up on the web within a few days, so uh, just keep an eye on those if you need to print them out or want to read them in detail or give them or uh, keep them uh, so you can show your uh, accreditation body at your next visit. Uh, let me just get myself out of the way here, and I'll show you the three features in particular. So the three things I'm going to show you are um, some of the improvements to the lab fiber analysis screen uh, from feedback that we had from release 32. I'm going to show you a new feature in the survey data screen uh, for instant validation of results based on the flexible list of alpha validator data checks that we have. And then finally I'm going to show you the new features in the quotation subsystem uh, which are really nice. So let me start off with the lab side of things. So you'll probably know that in release 32 we changed the way that um, you could enter results into the lab. We made it an option. You can still use the old way if you want to, and that's still true now in release 33. But if you switched on the new feature, uh, you'll have the, the new visual indication of the morphology of the sample. Um, and you've also got the keyboard mode, which is just awesome. So if I switch keyboard mode on here, um, you can see for each question that appears, we've got the uh, categories on the right hand side or the an possible answers on the right hand side and I can literally use the keyboard to whiz through it so uh, you can see uh, how fast it is to actually enter the details I'm not using my mouse at all just using the keyboard and you get this visual indication as well and some users are telling us now that they're starting to recognize uh, from the blocks that are colored in uh, what the sample actually is so uh, keyboard mode that was something we introduced last time the difference this time is the new layout of the screen. People are having problems getting it on a screen uh, all, at, all at once. So we've rejigged the screen so that there's an overview tab now, an analysis tab, and if you need more than one analysis, you just get uh, more tabs there, sub tabs opening up. So it's better for, uh, for smaller screens in particular. It's also quicker to load. Um, and if you resize the screen, then um, the, this screen will resize appropriately. So hopefully, um, if you're working in the lab, you can always have the feature, uh, the, the, um, uh, the necessary information on the screen all at once. Okay. Um, also in this release, all of these uh, different questions here in terms of the breakdown of the analysis, they can be reordered to suit the order that you like to work in, just a system setting. So uh, you've got the flexibility always, of, as we've always had, of the choices with each question. You've now got the flexibility of the order that the questions are presented. So lots of changes there, which we hope will help um, busy asbestos labs. Let me just close that um, and close this screen so I can show you the next thing I wanted to show you. So the next one, I think I have to move myself up to the top for this, sorry for jumping around, and I'll just make myself a bit smaller. The next one I want to show you is the instant validator feature that we've got in the survey item screen. So these boxes here are new, and you'll notice them when you're checking or updating data um, from an asbestos survey. Previously what happened was when you um, you could edit your data here on screen and when you generated the asbestos report, typically the draft report, we'd run our set of alpha validator checks against the data to highlight for you any problems in the data uh, that would affect the report. So it's sort of having, like having a second pair of eyes running over the data looking for all sorts of issues that could potentially cause you to give um, uh, a less than perfect asbestos report to your client. Well, you've now got the feature, uh, the ability to do it here, actually within the data itself. You can do it manually by clicking the, the button here. That will then run through, tell you if there's any problems, and if there are any problems, you'll get your validation results here, look. 
Uh, so here are all the alpha validator checks, yeah, no, and the fine. ones that are red are where you've got an issue yeah. potentially that you need to resolve. It will also highlight individual so fields within items to show you where the problem is. So I've just taken this date out just as an example. It's telling us uh, that there's a, a record without a surveyor or yeah, a date, fine. Fine. and here it is, it's highlighted it in red for me. So you can now do it all within the data itself. You haven't got to generate the report to get the alpha validator uh, results on screen. If you have this checkbox say, uh, clicked here, validate on save, you don't even have to click the button because as you save records, it runs the validator for you um, and it, you'll get instant feedback as to whether you've got a problem. Uh, very useful for trainees in particular, but also useful you might want to choose to have that option switched on just in general. To have that as the default uh, to be ticked is just a system setting so you can do that in the normal system settings area of Alpha Tracker. If you're unsure, can't find it or don't know what I'm talking about, just give the support desk a call and they'll talk you through it or make the, uh, the system change for you. So a really good feature. Just a reminder as well, all of these checks can be optionally switched on and off that's another system setting. So if you don't like some of these checks, you can you can disable them. And you, there is system also has the ability for you to add in your own checks too. So the, the validation checks that run uh, are completely flexible to suit your business. That's that one. And the next one I want to show you, and the final one I'm going to highlight for you, are some changes we've made to the quotation subsystem. And these are quite significant. Uh, and the idea is that we want to make it easier for you to know which quotes have been followed up, um, whether you're late in following them up, and a sort of visual indicator of who's responsible for the quote within your business and what you consider the likelihood of success is for that to win that quote. So you'll see here the quote screen looks a lot more sort of interactive, it looks a lot more attractive than it did. Um, by the way, if I just show you this as well, there's now a tick box underneath the searcher in the inquiry and quote menu. This is new. Um, very much mirroring the open projects uh, tick box here, look under the project searcher. Uh, this is because generally speaking, when you're managing quotes, you only want to look at the ones that are, that are currently open. If you've won them, you know, you're less interested. If you've lost them, you're less interested. It's the ones that you're chasing up and that are open at the moment that you're most interested in. So here we've got the uh, open quotes in our demo system, none of this data is real obviously. Um, and you can see at a glance here that um, Dan is responsible for this quote. It's 60% likelihood, that's what I've marked it up. I've, I've assessed it as being, you know, we're more than likely to win it. Uh, there's been one follow-up action and actually the last follow-up was done today. This one though, look, is highlighting in red. There's been no follow-ups to this. So we've issued the quote. Uh, back in July, there have been no follow-ups at all. Well, this is a, you know, a disgraceful situation because uh, this could be business that we've missed out on. So I'm going to give the guy a call. Uh, I can bring up the details from here, or in fact, it shows it on the previous screen as well. Um, refresh myself for whatever the, the quote was. Give the person a call, and now I'm going to record the follow-up here. So yeah, I, I called him. Uh, still interested. Uh, he's waiting on a new budget and I can save that away. So I've now followed that up. It's going to mark it there, look, to show you that there's been a follow-up. Um, that will refresh in a second to show that it's, uh, that it's a green follow-up. And in fact, I could have made the, the call or done the email directly here from the screen. Here, if I click these links, um, you get the option of calling. If your mobile phone is a, a, a modern Android or iPhone, it, even if you click it on the screen, this is clever, it actually prompts you on your mobile for you uh, to make the call. Don't ask me how it does that, that's part of uh, Windows and the browser working together. Um, so there you go, so we've got highlighting the person responsible, we've got the likelihood, we've got the follow-ups, let's just change the likelihood to show you how that works. So the likelihood is now down here. This screen um, has been significantly improved and I'm sure you'll agree that it's neater and it's better organized. The, we've still got the inquiry section on the left by the way and the quote section on the right but you'll see that we've um, 
um, improved the look of it. We've taken out some of the fields that aren't used anymore, things yeah. like fax number we've now removed. It is an option, you can bring it back by the way, but it, by default it's switched off. Um, we've moved the calculation up a bit and um, we've um, uh, started the screen with the planning and special instructions sections closed again so that it fits better on smaller screens. Um, so hopefully you agree it's a big improvement in the screen overall. Um, a couple of things you can do from the follow-up section by the way which I'll just show you so if I just go back into my follow-ups again on here um, you can if you've made the call so I've called him again uh, yep uh, yes we have to go ahead so this is one uh, this is one that we've won I can just rather than do save there and then go into the quote to mark it as one I can actually do it here or indeed if we, we didn't win this job uh, they went with another provider I can save it and mark as lost with the thumbs down button so thumbs up saves and marks it as one thumbs down saves and mark it as lost so you can do that straight from the follow-up screen as well um, hope you enjoy using those follow-up features We've got filters here, by the way, as well, so you can you can look at all of the things that you're you're late on following up. The green ones are ones that you followed up recently enough that you don't need to do it again, and the uh, yellow orangey ones are the ones that are um, sort of becoming due. So they're your sort of action action screen, I guess. Um, anyway, hope you like that. Uh, lots more features in there. Like I say, keep uh, your eye open for Kim's release notes, which will be on the website within the next few days. Um, if you have any questions, any problems after you've done the update, just give us a call as normal. We're here 24-7 to help you. Uh, always in person, no machines, no answer phone. You'll always get through to a human being whenever, whatever time of the day or night you call us. Uh, and if you're not sure how to update your system or you want help uh, or you want us to do it for you, again, just get in touch. Thanks very much.